in the last few years Formula One has only just started to get used to the idea of having a United States Grand Prix again following the emergence of the Circuit of the Americas. But there was a time in the early 1980s when as much as three U.S. venues hosted Grands Prix. One of those was under the banner of the United States Grand Prix West. Race promoter Chris Cook's vision was to make Long Beach the Monte Carlo of the Uses. As far as ambitions go in designing F1 venues, they don't come much bolder, but from its inaugural race in 1976 the event proved a hit among the drivers and teams. In its eight-year run, Long Beach was always an early-season race held around late March or early April, and despite the street circuit being grueling on cars and the drivers, the California setting on the Pacific Coast was hugely popular. But cost issues arose in 1983, the final year of Formula One at the track, and the high expense of hosting the race saw the venue turn its back on F1 in favor of the more US-recognized Champ Car Series. Its final couple of years saw heavy modifications to the route, as well as a change in the start-finish line from 1978. But from 1976 to 1981 the course remained the same, and you can see an onboard lap of the circuit with Patrick Depaler's Terrell here. Oddly enough, no driver who won at the track went on to win the world championship in the same year as Sportsmail looks back at the circuit that came close to becoming an F1 